Hello people, and welcome back to part 41 of Fire Builders 1 City Season 2. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And it's been it's been a hot minute since we've been in the Fire Builders map and plenty has changed. There is now so much high rise with <laughs> those loads of it. And nice to see some unique buildings in as well. Um City Planner came through and did another wave of high density planning in our downtown. Now we have a really nice waterfront now, nice kind of gradual crawl in height. Uh, perhaps a touch of asset refinement needed with kind of these residentials that are spawning here. A little bit of asset repetition, but it still looks nice apart from that. Uh, Zardis, of course, has been in since we've been in. He drops in a little lemonade factory, some industrial expansion over here. And our little rural mining town has now developed into kind of a rural hillside town, which develops all the way around here. So this has grown out now, which is nice. And yeah, lots of lots of exciting additions. Uh, Lee has done some wonderful intersection marking tool stuff over here. Look at this. This is so nice. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah, I want to be able to do this. I need to get better with this tool. This is uh, this is really cute. And have a little look at the way the traffic flows here. Some more of our Lee's trademarked time traffic lights as well. Yeah, and lots of traffic work. If you guys haven't seen all the episodes, uh, there really is kind of too much to recap. Uh, so make sure you are checking out the playlist and following all the other guys' videos as well. Uh, but today, I think I'm eyeing up uh, kind of a smaller build and a new addition into the city. And before we do start, um, Imperator's builds aren't in yet. There has just been a little bit of a delay with importing them. But of course, Imperator has built an interchange and an airport out here. Um, so this will hopefully be in in my second or third episode whenever we manage to get around to importing his builds into the save. But in my episode today, I want to work on a little, maybe like a little lakefront, maybe like a little retreat where people from the city can uh, drive out on the weekend and uh, come down here down towards the, I guess this is a lake out here, right? Or a river. Come down to the river slash lakefront, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And I develop a little bit of nightlife out here, a little bit of relaxation. And uh, yeah, it's a little country retreat and we'll see what we can do. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I think we're going to start out from uh, this node where the uh, American or European six lane bridge ends. Now, I do want to respect the topography today. I um, realize it's probably quite shocking for a lot of you to hear uh, in this series for me. <laughs> but we'll uh, just come through with our soften tool. And I just want to take a little bit of the harshness out of these um, pretty crazy slopes because we'll have a road coming through here, okay? So I think that should be alright. Maybe um, soften out this one here as well. Okay, so we'll just come out with a vanilla asymmetrical road. And we'll start snapping to these guidelines. It's bringing our road down in a couple of different places. We'll of course arrange a lane direction once we know how we're going to kind of sit in uh, the final build today. And let's prepare a rail crossing. So hopefully just hook into here. Then, don't think this is too bad. We'll probably upgrade a bit of this into high speed road at some point. Uh, just to help kind of accentuate that this is um, kind of a more rural uh, part of the map. So we'll see what we can do to uh, to bring that in. So we want to really kind of pay attention to the coastline today as the house is going to sit. Um, so we could come in, I think, with maybe some pedestrian roads. And there's opportunities here uh, for some different ones for us to work with. Uh, so let's have a little, a little look at the textures. Not really interested in gravel or the regular one. There's kind of a cute little stone one here as well. And then there is one with uh, cyclists and emergency vehicles uh, down the center. So I think this is a little maybe too fancy for what I'm after out here. Maybe a little bit too landscaped. I'm thinking maybe just the single stone or the boardwalk for the waterfront. We can always upgrade though, right? We can always upgrade. <laughs> we'll see what we think. So I'm going to go with the zonable boardwalk. Um, and I want to come off all of my snapping here. So we have a road guideline. And then let's also briefly um, check out the landscape here as well. So again, I think we're just going to move this often. Right? I just want a lot of the kind of the, the harsh ridge taken out of it. So just a, so I think just a couple of clicks with our softened terrain tool. It's going to help us create a nicer waterfront here. So I just wanted to meander this really around the edge of the sand texture. Now we are paying with surface painter, of course, so we can... Uh, painting our own sand as and when we need it. So let's come into a regular road now. Why don't we use some of these nicer ones? How about a basic grass road with medium? 
And if we just come straight down here, we can create a connection, which seems okay. Get these nice little kind of bollards at the end here. I think that's quite cute. All right. And then along the back of the zone in here, it's going to make sense if we perhaps break this one in first, and then let's go for... And have a nice little straight road here to serve as our main street, and then people can walk down onto the promenade if they so wish. So again, grab the asymmetrical. Let's sort it out at this end now. Um, so we want... Uh, yeah, the two lanes facing out into the junction. That's going to be fine. And then probably bring this down to high speed, I imagine. Let's go for maybe... I think probably National Road is going to be most appropriate. Get people out here nice and fast. Get some trees and fencing in here. And of course, let's have a little discussion about uh, some initial kind of detailing palettes and templates for the area. Let's bring in some nature reserve fencing. Now we probably will... I think I have my next build planned. I know what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to prepare a little junction to flow out of this one as well. Okay. And again with the two roads facing into the junction. And we'll do some intersection marking tool stuff here today as well. We'll try anyway. <laughs> we will try. And then let's just grab a little bit of our 5B1C forest. And then just perhaps a little sparring of this around the junction. Bring some rocks and trees and bushes in as well, of course. It's so nice to be back in a green map <laughs> after kind of a mainlining Navaria for the last last few months. It's uh it's nice to see a little bit of greenery. Alright. And then why don't we grab um one of our props as well? Maybe there's just kind of a tiny bench for uh, people that might be walking. Places here, right? Okay. So of course, kind of flesh out this idea uh, towards our detailing time lapse, but just some uh, nice general uh, intersection decoration as we move down into uh, this little touristy waterfront. It should be quite nice, I think. So I'll go ahead and get a district set up. Let's throw on uh, some nightlife specialization, and uh, we'll start zoning up. Okay, so I think to get things started, we're going to start zoning up with kind of a a baseline of commercial and some mix and match residential uh, along this kind of back street and entrance into the uh, kind of touristic waterfront, right? And then we're going to use put the growables with our nightlife and tourism specializations uh, to start generating uh, a little bit of a of a cuter waterfront here, right? Let's get some of these one by one cafes in. A little bowling alley here as well. So we can place a few of these anarchy and then just kind of refine our waterfront appearance with movement to get them to fit in the way we want. We have a couple of these down here too. A bit of one by one restaurant and then we will mix and match with tourism as well because uh, there is some uh, fairly nice assets in here that would work nicely. Been kind of beach restaurants and pubs and whatnot. There's also some swimming pools here as well which can be uh, used in uh, quite nicely repeated patterns. Uh, so we'll see if we can do something with those today as well. Uh, these nightclubs are maybe a little bit too big for what I'm after. It's kind of these more, more small looking ones is what I'm, the vibe I'm trying to generate, I think. A couple of little souvenir shops back to back. How about one of these little outdoor gyms as well? Maybe get one of these uh, right next to the water. Okay, so there's a kind of variety of different ideas we can... Uh, this one's a little bit too big, but you know, lots of different ideas we can take this theme in. So uh, we can just carry on uh, drawing up our skyline, and of course is the inclusion uh, of some of our waterfront assets if we dive into the world of tourism. We can maybe get a little bit of jet ski rental here. I think that would probably be an appropriate building, right? And then we'll see if our friend uh, Move It will just allow us to centralise this maybe with the front road a little bit. Let's come into our pathways. I think probably gravel path is going to be uh, the most sensible to link this through, not like it does need a link, but just so there's something there, right? And then perhaps a little bit of a uh, better landscaping tool with our sand brush here. And hopefully start to bring in a few more of those kind of late shore vibes, right? It's really what we're trying to generate today. A very similar area from where I'm where I live actually in terms of 
and having this tourist waterfront up at the bottom. But I think as a general start, uh, that's going to be okay. Uh, we definitely want power through here, so let's bring our little little rural power lines down. So I think what we'll do is separate this into two uh, distinct districts. So if we kind of come down here, right, and make a little cutaway here, and we'll join a new district to fit on this back road, and then possibly throw in maybe a little green city specialization on that one, perhaps. All right, wonderful. And then off the back of this now, we can just start to develop some uh, smaller local housing, maybe. I think we're just probably using our regular roads with our uh, road length and angle snapping on. Okay, and then there's some uh, nice opportunities here if we wanted to bring maybe a road down, leaving a couple of tiles free. Of course, we'll worry about saving our power lines later on. And just start to develop uh, some pretty basic... Uh, road designs that can help and accommodate us a little bit of local residential and I get some nice uh, designs up against the rail here as well today so just running with our grid I think I kind of want uh, this area as well to be uh, a little bit sandy kind of as people are, are walking down let's also continue to uh, expand our boardwalk out this way as it kind of meanders around this side of what is the creek and then I guess it's going to be nice to I just have a basic connection uh, back into the road here. There we go. Then we can trim that up. I really like the way that these merge into the roads. These little pedestrian ones, they're very nice. Okay, let's give these guys a med clinic as well. You imagine there'll be some kind of um, clinic facility as they arrive. If anything goes wrong, right? Maybe like a little bit of a lifeguard or something. Okay, so that little green city's pocket is growing nicely now. I think I'm fairly happy with that. And uh, I think we'll probably go European suburbia here. Uh, so let's paint out this district uh, right up until the railway line. And then we can also give this uh, the European suburbia pack. Let's go ahead and start satisfying a little bit of that residential demand. I also just want to start developing a little bit of walkable green belt uh, to flow between the lakefront and the actual town itself. And I think this is going to be really complemented with uh, some uh, shattered nature reserve fencing designs, right? The kind of it's not particularly run down. It's more just a little bit more wild. If that makes sense. <laughs> I hope it does. Oh, green overgrowth, my word, do I miss the green in this game. We are currently running a vanilla snow city, uh, for those that are new to the channel. Uh, Novaria, if you want to come and uh, join us for uh, a total lack of colour, then uh, please feel free to do so. I think just a little bit of overgrowth and bushes around here, right, and then maybe a couple of our taller trees. Maybe a size down, so we grab some kind of shorter pine spice, and you know maybe the land gets a little bit kind of more tainted, a little bit saltier, so trees have a more difficult time growing here. He says with an enormous mountain forest in the, <laughs> in the background. Oh dear. Alright, but there's there's your spice sample, right? A little bit of rural power line action, some nice uh, transitional green belt between waterfront and town. And uh, we can see those houses appearing behind there now as well. Okay. Uh, definitely interested in using more of our little tourism assets here. So how about we look at introducing uh, a marina, which will be fun. Um, there's also beach volleyball here as well. You imagine this would be quite popular over here. Let's get rid of this little one by one asset. It's a skate park two. Restaurant pier would be a good idea. Let's maybe place this one over here. Okay, so he's winging of not a connection. That's fine though. Let's just use move it. Uh, a little bit of the old faithful, and I bring this down here. And then again, just remembering to bring in a little dirt path design. It's just going to bring a path down here. Okay. Again, I'll probably just drag this over so it's snug with this corner as well. Okay. 
not too bad. You probably need water, of course. So also added in a touch of uh, farm fence here as well, which would be uh, quite nice. We might also do some um, high density residential zoning today, uh, almost as like maybe some uh, desirable lakefront apartments that would maybe been uh, made available over here. So we can actually accommodate the riding stable in this space, and I do want to try it just to see what's going to happen. The terraforming around this is going to be quite severe, I imagine. Yeah, it is. Yeah, especially around this end. I don't mind it, though. I think we can get away with it. I think the asset just wants... Maybe bring it up a little bit, though, just so those stairs are exposed. And I think we can get away with this little gradient here as we're coming down. Hopefully that doesn't trigger Lee. And there he is. Something of a gradient police these days. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully that doesn't upset him. But uh, if he does, then he can. Uh, he can reach out. Okay. It's not bad. Um, these asymmetricals definitely want sorting out, but we'll do that in our detailing time lapse uh, to come work. Uh, on the road network, let's bring in uh, some nature reserve decoration. On it reserve path with decoration and um, to run parallel with uh, the main road down into the town again drawing uh, from right to left so we maintain uh, the little fairy lights that are on this asset uh, so they all kind of stay facing the same direction and then this now gives us a much better frame uh, to come in with our power line and then there's also possibilities here if we come on with Anarchy for a hot minute so we don't shatter anything we've placed. To bring in some nature reserve fence into... And to give this a little hug. Okay, let's not forget that we removed our med clinic as well. Let's place this back in here. We'll delete this asset too. Let's make sure there's no zone in here either. Yeah, we're good. Um, how far are we? Yeah, we are going to need police and fire coverage out here, aren't we? Yeah, so let's bring in some emergency services as well. Uh, let's throw in a fire station here. Again, just remember to delete our assets. Turn Anarchy off for this would be helpful. I'm learning slowly. <laughs> and then let's grab uh, a police station too. All right. Very nice. So quite, quite a cute small build, right? Just a little kind of pocket of tourism and uh, leisure and fun. Uh, down by the water. Alright. Cool. Let's grab that angle. With uh, some more of this regular road. I'm really looking to kind of frame off this area here. Yeah? So we definitely want to terraform this out. Let's come into our brush size with level terrain. And let's see. Ideally, I'd like to pick out this height here. Let's take away these assets and then we'll grab this one where the road sits and just level out a little bit. I did. I'd say I would respect the topography, but welcome to the channel, everyone. Okay, and then I'll just kind of soften that a bit, right? Let's bring our brush size up. Push that back a touch and then just soften it out. Very nice. And then continue uh, with our commercial uh, kind of border that hugs the waterfront, okay? And then do something similar again down here with our walkable -walk pedestrian pathways. Bring a little bit of free form into the equation. All right, and then line that up with there, and then come straight back in over there as well. Uh, there's also going to be some stuff from the nature reserve uh, that will work quite nicely down by the water as well, especially these little campfires and some of the fishing piers as well. So I wonder if there's a nearby uh, park area that we can steal. I don't particularly want to go around creating a new one. Yeah, there is Broad Park over here. Um, is this kind of totally reliant on making money? Yeah, it is. It's kind of trapped over here, isn't it? Okay, that's fine then. Let's um, let's just go ahead and place them in. So why don't we kind of use this as an opportunity to kind of integrate the park gate into the town itself? So we could get a little kind of small nature reserve gate here. Which I don't think would be the worst thing in the world. It does have National Park on the front of it though. I'm not huge on that. That kind of gives it a, a very specific theme. 
I think we can get away with it though, right? I think we can get away with it. So we'll come back into our dirt path and we establish that connection. That is connecting, right? Is it just a break in the texture? Do we want to go down to nature as a vent, uh, pathway? I think we probably do, don't we? Yeah, we we'll use nature as a path instead then. That's going to be alright. And then let's grab uh, that park area down onto the beach. Wonderful. Okay, so again, you know, it's absolutely not relying on making money. This is really so we can just place our assets. We have a little campfire too. Uh, how about a, a fishing cabin as well? Maybe place a couple of these in alongside the shore. There's also bouldering sites as well. Might be able to use this. Probably not. Probably not. That will uh, disturb the water ever so slightly. Uh, so now let's just bring these guys in with uh, pathway connections. So nature reserve or fence for the beach, I wonder. I think I'm going to go with vanilla pathway or the beach. Okay. I think I can get on board with that. And then we'll just bring this around to meander. And there's possibilities for maybe another nature reserve in the mountains over here. Uh, there is another river. So maybe one day. Whoever wants to come and work can pick up this pathway. And I'll take it somewhere where they want. But otherwise, our cute little town is uh, slowly developing here. Of course, there's also the world of nature reserve props that work nicely here as well. Maybe get a few little canoes uh, down by the beachfront as well. A uh, possible little outhouse too, maybe near the fishing pier, just in case anyone uh, does need uh, a dump while they're down at the beach. There's no other way of saying that really, is there? Okay, so uh, this area here has moved out of my uh, Green Cities district, which is fine. Let's just make sure we keep these districts separate. Let's snap into that. And have middle separation road, right? And then we'll have some folks uh, really moving around our waterfront now. This is nice to see. Got a little dude walking down by the beach here. And we, of course, don't need to stick religiously to nature reserve assets. We do have a part life area here now, so uh, there is possibilities for also some amusement park stuff, which we don't have an amusement park yet. Uh, or a zoo, either, surprisingly. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Also a gazebo as well. Places over here. Little triplet of campfires where you can maybe sit out and look over. Over the water of this one lone tree. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is doing out here. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it anyway. Alright. Just a little touristic waterfront starting to uh, show its face now. Um, let's have a little look at the possibility of introducing uh, some of our high density residential assets. I'm thinking a lot of the Art Deco looking apartments uh, will work nicely here. We can probably search for them. Yeah, it's these ones here. So I think maybe if we were to run um, with a couple of these, maybe a little bit further down towards the water, maybe over here, might give them a nice little lookout because the, the noise pollution from these guys shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, high density residential can that can definitely survive here. So I think that's probably something we'll do uh, during our detailing time lapse, I imagine. So I'm definitely seeing opportunities up here uh, for some of that high density residential. So again, immediately disrespecting the topography. <laughs> I'm just going to start terraforming out a little layer. All right. And then let's go for maybe some nice grassy roads. We'll snap to our road guard line as well. And then I just want to see if we can come directly behind our green city zone in here without disturbing the piece too much. I think we maybe want to go at one more guideline ahead, probably up to this one, right? Yeah, that's probably more sensible. And then we'll just provide a little little freeform connection into there. And again, just using um, what the girl was and find it. I think we'll just go for a little a repeated battery of some of these uh, really nice uh, Art Deco content creator packs just to sit um, at the head or the, the backdrop of our little kind of commercial waterfront. 
Uh, there's also possibilities for the same thing here, um, if we wanted to maybe start getting involved with uh, some, some angles to come out this way. Alright, and I think what we'll do is we're going to use move it here. And then we're going to select this node, we're going to control and H. And we're going to set it to this one as well. And likewise with that one. I'll probably have to do the same here to get this to look the same, but we can create this kind of uh, tiered view here now. If we were to come in and grab some of those more, some of those kind of flat looking assets again, and place these in a little triplet. See, they just kind of sit on that very, very slight elevation. It doesn't disturb the back of the road too much here. Maybe one of these nodes wants lifting up. Uh, just a slight, slight bit, maybe kind of up to here. Uh, without disturbing the low density residential on the other side as well. But otherwise, I think this feels like a nice place for a detailing time lapse. So quite a short build today, but over my next three episodes, or next two after this, I really want to kind of develop this side of the map. Uh, with a couple of smaller modular builds, and I, I think next episode, we are going to do a power station, because the city is... Um, not far away from the orange, I think in night time it does actually lose power. Oh, there's a fire. Let's go see what's going on. It looks like uh, Zardus's extension of the hillside suburb is um, burning down. Of course. <laughs> what else? Yeah, but I think next episode we'll do a power station because there's just a lot of solar power plants placed around at the minute. Um, so I think a dedicated power area uh, because we are missing or not using um, a lot of these uh, high-tech content creator uniques, which work nicely uh, in a power station build. So we'll definitely redevelop some kind of vibe uh, over here for that, maybe up against this creek, but we'll worry about that next time. Uh, but detailing up, we have some more low-density residential to bring in here. We want to sort out our road mathematics as well, and um, so these asymmetricals are actually functioning as they are intended. And then lots of decoration, I continue to expand and uh, bring in this kind of sandy looking overgrown green belt around all of the creek. Uh, lots of pathways back into here as well. Uh, and then we will try and do uh, some intersection marking tool stuff over here as well. Looks like they're actually turning down here. Probably delete this connection until we do the build down there. Uh, next episode. But otherwise, uh, let's detail it up. And then I will look forward to a nice little touristic lakeside retreat.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, likes, comments and shares below are always appreciated and do help feed my algorithm. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. A fairly cute small build today with uh, three different styles of tourism, nightlife and green cities commercial. I hope you can kind of see the effect that, you know, combining these three styles has. A little more difficult in vanilla without plot the growables, but most people can do it. And the inclusion of those repeated uh, art deco high density residential flats gives a real nice uh, lakeside apartment desirable housing vibe whatever you want to call it i think it's worked out quite nicely i uh, do hang around for the rest of the outro touch and apologies if my uh, intersection marking tool <laughs> work still isn't quite right i'm getting better with the mods really appreciate the patience and all the support with them hang around for a fairly small outro touch and check this thing out at night time but i will shut up and i will leave it there i well, thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day